Hey guys, what's going on? It's Model Rocks 321 here. Today we are out launching today. We're going to be flying this classic right here for the first launch. This is the Fat Boy. I know you guys remember this. This is a popular rocket. They uh, went out of production, but a lot of people um, like these rockets right here. So we're going to be sending this up on a C63. This is yet another park. I'm going to try this one out. Um, it's a little, it's, it's a long field, so I'm kind of off to the side, not dead centered. Well, I'm kind of in the center, but just off to one side closer to the edge because of a little breeze blowing. So let's get this going right now. It's my Rocks 321. Check the links below, guys. The shop got some new stuff in there. Um, I'm gonna have some rockets for sale. If anybody's looking for a Little Joe 2, the latest version, um, the 145th scale, hit me up. I have a couple of those I can let go. So it's my Rocks 321, get yourself a Little Joe 2. Let's go. All right, here we go, guys. We got the Fat Boy going on a C63. Slight breeze out here. Going in three, two, one. Wow. And we got parachute coming down. Like I said, this is a narrow field. I'm just trying to make sure it's gonna, I think he's still gonna be in the field, I think. Yeah. Yeah, heading over toward that tree. <laughs> There's a couple trees out here too, so. Hopefully I don't find one. Coming out pretty good. Pretty nice. Breeze took it kind of in the direction I expected it to go in. And he found the sidewalk. Pretty nice. Pretty nice first launch. Now I got a general idea of where C63s will land. So first flight of the day. Did pretty good. Nice bird up there like it found the concrete of all things so that worked out the fat boy so definitely in this field in this park might to keep it a little low and slow not too high today guys because as you can see it kind of got near the street hey how you doing man you? doing pretty good yeah oh uh, yeah it's nice it was nice wow. a kind of textbook yeah. <laughs> textbook launch so here we have fat boy recovered pretty nice and the street is right up there so that gives me a good idea where I'm at to keep things today it's my rocks 321 be sure to subscribe to the channel guys and we'll be right back all right guys next up we got the Estes Marauder this is a 1980s rocket from way way back I had it since I was a kid I just restored it got it all nice but I had to move locations I just moved over a little further I mean a little further out because I came down over there like off the beyond the um, sidewalk so just moved a little bit just to give a little more room. Should be good, got the rod angled a little bit into the wind. So I have a B66 in there and it's the Estes Marauder. So let's go. All right. Got the Estes Marauder. Going on a B66. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is. Six second delay. Parachute got stuck. Wow, parachute got stuck. Interesting. Well, the way everything survived, parachute got stuck, but <laughs> that's part of the game. <laughs> wow, parachute got stuck today. There's an ejection charge in there. So we got a little damage here, parachute got stuck. Nice flight would have been great. Other than that, the parachute got stuck. The damage here, um, easy fix stuff. Fins all stayed on, which is surprised being that it hit over there in the hard rocks, but that's model rocketry, everybody knows this hobby. Sometimes go right, sometimes go wrong. Let's check that parachute. Let's go. Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of model rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321. These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV-coated finish. These collectibles are a must-have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12-card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card, plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out! Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio. All right, guys, last flight of the day, we have the Stealth Alpha. I'm gonna be sending this up on a C11-3, keeping it low and slow in this park. 
this is just the alpha just a little more beefed up so she should should get a nice altitude out of it not too high not too slow not too low so here we go be sure to check the links below hit the subscribe button ring the bell notification so you'll know when the new videos come out it's my rock three two one here let's get the next one going okie dokie so here we go got the stealth alpha and we are going and model rockets three two one wow on the c11 three parachute out twisted and turn i see that parachute flailing around i don't know if it got a singe or what but it's flailing around so we shall see hopefully you guys are seeing that let me practice a little zoom Eh, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, it's flailing around. It looks like it got a burn or something. I don't know. We may have a singe. Oh, sorry, you guys. I know you just missed that. See, me messing around with the zoom, you missed part of it. But, ooh, they yeah, parachute either got ripped or burned. Nice flight on the C11 III, though. Um, a little higher than I thought. So, pretty cool. That hit hard, so I don't know if we got damage or not. But I did beef up these fins there through the wall, so... Yeah, see what we got with the parachute. Yeah, we got a rip here. Yeah, it did a lot of flailing around. That was too much. Yeah, we got a rip. Ah, uh, oh well. Yeah, we got a rip there. So, I mean, it tore from the disc. That's the issue. So, other than that, rocket is good. Yeah, I built this really bulletproof. Those fins are tough. I mean, let me check each one. Yeah, they're through the wall. <laughs> Very nice. Stealth Alpha uh, is a tough, tough bird. See, so you got that little. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works deal right there. But nice flight. nice flight. So stay tuned for the debriefing. We will talk about these three flights. We will talk about what's coming up. This is my Rock 321. Be sure to check the website. I got a new kit coming out for you guys. Be a pre order for that kit. It's called the Infinity One. So do not hesitate. Go and get that kit while you can. Just a short run of those will be available to you. And also use the Estes discount code IN underscore 321 when you go to Estes website to shop put that code in and be sure to pick up engines motors same thing <laughs> rocket kits t-shirts anything they got they got all kind of stuff over there estes my rocks three two one hey guys welcome back welcome back welcome back this is debriefing time you just saw three flights three pretty cool flights had slight tragedy on each well on each one on the second on the second and third one so the first flight was the fat boy this classic classic estes rocket super popular you don't see a lot of these around anymore um they went out of production but people really like them i enjoy flying it um a lot of fun flying it just pulled it out of the the collection just got the engine out of there flew that on a c63 so it was pretty nice this is my first flight i had this nice mylar parachute in there so estes mylar parachute um, it, I was centered, I wasn't in the center of the field, I was just off to the side, I knew because of the breeze, but this C63 put it up there and it carried it a little further than I wanted them to go, so I went on and um, I adjusted, so I moved a little further into the wind, and I still angled into the wind slightly, then everything went up and it was perfect from there, everything landed in the field, real no, 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 um, no issues, like, except for the second flight, second flight was my Marauder, classic, classic rocket, love this kit, from the 80s um those good old days good designs um love those 80s rockets this was another c63 no 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 b66 let's get me get back together today so this was a b66 as i called everything's good even with that it ejected i noticed the wadding still in there i got more char on this shot cord got a little had a little crinkle here but i don't mind certain rockets having some little little dings have a little a couple some scuffs there this is all nice and clear coated um, I don't mind that. So the parachute is um, on the floor because it tore up, man. I got that when I've used it and I put it in the Stealth Alpha and it just got torn up. So I was trying to go for a, a smaller parachute, but, you know, just to reduce the drift. But um, got some damage. Parachute got stuck, so he uh, twist and turn, fell to the ground, landed in those rocks, but really no issue. A ding there, a couple scuffs, and that's the, uh, the Marauder. Great, great Estes rocket. Love this rocket. There was a reissue rock, I think it's called a Reflex or something, that had a similar look. I think they just looked at the Mar Marauder and made that newer rock. But this this is a good one. This is a good one. I really like the, uh, the Marauder. So, last but not least was my Stealth Alpha. Now, in my Stealth Alpha, I ran a C11 III. And it went, you know, very good. Flew higher than I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to be a little more low and slow since this one had a little more beef to it, a little more weight. 
actually added nose weight for flying those um those aerotech motors but on this one i flew the c11 and i think i actually didn't even run the um yeah it didn't right it can go in there deeper because this one you can actually fly on the e12 motors and you can get those all the way in there usually i run a spacer but i think i do have a block in there here's a spacer i left home i didn't have the spacer with me but i just did my little tape yeah right there it will stop so i just taped it around the edge of the um motor tube and everything was fine so yeah i was on a c11 3 it was a nice flight except i got that parachute got pretty much destroyed this is well i ain't gonna say destroyed this is the one i had in the marauder for the first flight flight it got some char got a little singed but it ripped one of the shroud lines so on this flight it ripped one of the shroud, shroud lines and it turned into pretty much a streamer and it came down and it landed on its fins I'm going to hit the fins first, but in that soft grass out there, got a little thing there. Yeah, these fins, are, I, I made these, make sure these were beefed up there through the wall. And I kind of coated them. The, the fillets are really nice, or the fillets are really nice. And the um, edges were all kind of beefed up too, so I survived that. Now, the parachute itself, one of the shroud lines got ripped. That's what caused that whole, yeah, it, it's, yeah. So only one, okay, only one of the shroud lines got ripped off right here. So... Yeah, it ripped right through there. It is repairable, but eh, I'll see. I have plenty of these kind of parachutes. I may repair it. I may give it a repair. I may give it a repair. So, but that, like I said, that, that was a different park. Um, I recently recently found out about that park. Um, it's pretty nice. It's a more it's a wide and long, almost like a football field, but bigger. Got trees planted all throughout there. So that's something to keep an eye on. Those trees. Um. <laughs> Because and there were some some of them were like some big trees, so you wind up in there, you're pretty much done, and um, that'll be it for your rock if it goes in there. So today, luck was on my side. It was a nice day of flights. Had kind of two little tragedy. It wasn't a perfect perfect day, but still a nice day. Everything kind of survived. No real no real repairs to be made. So that's all you can ask for in this hobby. If you get a day like that, and you don't have too much to fix, you can put them back on the shelf as is. And it was the debut of the Fat Boy in a long time. I hadn't had the Fat Boy out in a long time. So it's one of these classics that you don't see many of. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's it for now. It's Model Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. As I always say, ring the bell notification. Also, guys, check the make if you are subscribed, check to make sure you are subscribed. Sometimes they take people, they unsubscribe people like randomly. It's kind of weird. And um, check my website. Also, shop Estes, IN underscore 321. Put that code in and get a discount on some Estes stuff. Hopefully, it works for you. I heard that it don't work for repeat buyers, which is a shame. I mean, come on, Estes, you're making plenty of money. Like, share a little bit. But anyway, it's my Rock 321. Launched the Fat Boy today, and we are out. All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here at the Kennedy. All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here at the Kennedy. All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here at the Kennedy.